We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. It sounds like if there's not one thing in the air, cloud in the sky today, it's going to be another. Yeah, yes, certainly. Is. At least this morning, as you look behind us, that's right. the shoals. We've got fog, but later on today, we're going to be dealing with some of that haze. But I want to be clear, it's, what we're going to deal with is nothing like what they're dealing with up in the northeastern oh, U.S. Right. Okay. Having said that, if you struggle with some respiratory issues, asthma in particular, you might want to limit your time outside today. While the Air quality won't be too, too bad. It could still irritate your respiratory issues just a little bit. Keep that in mind. I would just limit your time outside if you struggle with any of those issues as the day goes on. For most of us, though, we're going to be just fine. But what you will notice as the day goes on, and especially once this fog starts to lift, is that sky will look much more hazy than it normally does this time of year, especially during those sunrises and sunsets. You really can't see it this morning because of the fog. But when that sun goes down later on tonight, you'll definitely see that added extra red color in the atmosphere, and that's because of all that smoke that will be filtering into our neck of the woods today. Right now, though, it's the fog. That's the view of the SkyCam network. Out towards the arsenal, we got very dense fog along 565. Keep that in mind if you're coming into town over the next 30 minutes to an hour. Fog continues to be quite dense in northwest Alabama. Decatur is looking a little bit better for the time being, and we still have that murky view out in Gunnersville as well. Bottom line, wherever you are this morning, just give yourself an extra 10, maybe 15 minutes heading out the door and keep those low beams on too. 31 triple Doppler is quiet. We will stay dry nearly all day. In fact, that smoke that's up in the atmosphere will actually keep our rain chances in check today. Having said that, I'll keep a small chance for a shower this afternoon. Just 10%. More than anything else, it stays warm and hazy. High temperature today, 91 degrees. But the heat wave comes to an end today. Looking ahead to overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, we got a cold front moving through that'll cool down our temperatures, of course, but it will also make things less humid as the day goes on tomorrow. Great weather for your Friday. We're talking blue skies and sunshine, not a cloud to be found to close out the work week, and we'll keep those temperatures in the 80s as well. Our next big rain chance, if you will, won't be until Sunday when we got another system that could bring more showers and storms. Here's future radar for today, 3 o'clock this afternoon. You see those clouds starting to move in just ahead of that front that's still up in Tennessee this afternoon. It quickly pushes south, does that front this evening. 7 o'clock tonight, behind the front, we'll be tracking a few spotty showers. Not a washout this evening at all, but it's not a bad idea to keep that umbrella handy just in case. Spotty showers are with us while you're sleeping overnight tonight. Could have a few lingering showers into the Thursday morning drive as well, but as the day goes on tomorrow, we dry out. The skies should clear a little bit and that much more comfortable weather will start to settle in for a couple of days. Mid 80s Thursday and Friday. We're back to near 90 degrees by Saturday. Saturday is definitely the pick of the weekend. We stay dry, not too humid either. Then the storm chances return on Sunday. There is the chance for a few stronger storms Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. For now, the severe risk Sunday looks pretty low, but obviously a lot can still change. So check back often for updates on that Sunday system. And as you look at the rest of the 10 day forecast, while those temperatures aren't too too bad going into next week we will start to warm things up and we'll keep that chance for a few pop-ups well the next week but once we get that front through tonight and tomorrow morning nice weather to close out the week Ooh, not bad at all yeah thank you so much carson yeah. well the time